Hey Universal fans and Halloween Horror Nights fans alike, my name is The Crazy Englishman and welcome back to another episode of Halloween Horror World. Tonight we're going to be discussing icons. Should they return to the event at a later date or should they return for this year? But we have for sure seen uh, a decrease in icon activity over these past two years. Um, we've seen more of a theming going on with the event and uh, here are my thoughts. I, I do think the icons should return. Um, for me, they make the event a little bit more exciting. There's more backstory that ties into the event. Uh, it gives the event a little bit more meat. Um, themes are great, but they're not as good from towards me uh, in terms of like having an actual face of terror for for the event. Um, I feel it's a lot cooler uh, to actually have. A bit of a backstory to your event uh, while tied to an individual character. Uh, back in 2006 in Hollywood we saw the rise of the director in Hollywood's event uh, taken from the Orlando event uh, which is the home of icons and uh, then back in 2007 for the Carnival of Carnage which was a shared event we both had Jack the Clown um, so I would actually love to see a return to the kind of creating original and cool iconic characters uh, for both of the events and I feel that with the theming it doesn't have too much of a punch I mean with The Walking Dead it was kind of cool having uh, Hollywood being taken over by the dead uh, having swarms of walkers but I, I want to go back to having kind of a story to your event uh, we see this more with Orlando. Um, I personally love going on Halloween Horror Nights wiki and reading up on the characters, their backstory, the kind of whole history, and they have fantastic uh, synopsis of uh, of the characters. And I kind of miss that. I, I miss seeing cool new characters come into play and be tied in. Uh, there was a fantastic event that Orlando had where they had the character of Fear and he brought together all the uh, characters as his minions and they built this whole story. Orlando's fantastic for that and I, I feel that's one thing they have a little bit over on Hollywood. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the Hollywood event but I feel that with Orlando they have a lot going on in terms of the characters. Um, they do a lot more for the characters. Maybe this is because Orlando's a larger event uh, because of the spacing. They're more of a theme park and our, ours here in Hollywood is a, is a working studio. Maybe that's the case, but I would like to see more story run events in the future run by a singular character or maybe multiples, uh, multiple icons. I have stated in a previous speculation video that I would love to see if Trick or Treat is a, is a maze at one year. I would love to see Sam, the the spirit of Halloween, uh, the trick-or-treating demon, uh, come in as an icon. And the way I could see it as a story development, um, here in Hollywood, we, and especially California, we seem to kind of lack of Halloween spirit. There's not too much decorations. I mean, you see occasionally a house that's decorated for Halloween, but it's not as big as, say, um, northern states of America or uh, or the East Coast but um, here in Hollywood it's kind of it's very not as spirited should we say um, so you could have in the story that uh, Sam comes down from I believe it was Idaho or it was around that area where the first trick or treat film takes place he comes down and he creates all this nightmarish uh, stories uh, which the mazes will be based off of um, and creates these kind of terror uh, experiences for guests to experience and get into the mood for Halloween again and he, he punishes us for having a lack of Halloween spirit by creating taking over Halloween Horror Nights and creating his own uh, demonic version of it so like uh, like one of the mazes could have a cameo by Sam because he's in every story in Trick or Treat. You could have, uh, I don't know, for example, if we had, uh, what's some of the mazes that might be here? American Horror Story. Let's say American Horror Story and you're in the asylum. You could have Sam uh, walk, like walking around in some of the scenes 
uh, as a mini scare actor. Uh, so you could do stuff like that. That would make it, I think, a lot more enjoyable than just having no icon or even maybe taking away theming completely. I would like to see more story-driven events maybe in the future. But those are my thoughts on it. Um, I would love to know what you guys think of this. Uh, should icons return? Uh, do you think they should be originals? Um, or bringing back classic icons like maybe Jack or or um, the caretaker or the storyteller and bringing those back. Uh, what do you guys think? I would love to know. Uh, comment below and uh, I would love to see your thoughts on this because it's something I love, um, especially about the event and especially about the Orlando event. I would love to see the return of icons, but I want to know what you guys think. Um, at a future date, I may be having a competition where you come up with your own scare actor and you come up with a synopsis um, describing the character's backstory and then its relationship to Howling Horror Nights and then the best one I will read on the channel in a one specific video that centers on that uh, contestant's winning uh, concept. So I'll let you know. I'll let you know guys uh, when that competition comes up um, and so yeah uh, so don't forget to comment uh, like and subscribe uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and the other videos and uh, I will see you in the next video crazy English friend signing out